So which emulator should you be using in playing Black Desert Mobile? Hey guys, it's Sam and I'm here to help you find out. As of the moment, I got 3 Android emulators in my PC. First is Nox Up Player, which I used way back in Pokemon Go. Second is Bluestacks, which I used to play Ragnarok Mobile. And lastly is Momo, which is what most people seem to be using in playing Black Desert. And for your convenience, all the links to download these emulators are in the description below. We will be checking the following in our comparison. First, we will look in each emulator settings in order to get the desired output while playing. Second is the graphics and performance, which is very important considering that Black Desert boasts one of the best graphics in mobile MMO and we want to get the most out of it. And lastly is the computer resources that it consumes. Since there will be lots of AFK times, the less resources an emulator consumes, the better, in order to do other things in our PC. Other computers with lesser specs will also benefit a lot from lesser resources consumption. To start, let's look first on Nox Up Player. In order to play in this emulator, you will be needing to launch at least Android 5.1 instance, while the default you are having is only Android 4.4. But don't worry, don't fret, it's pretty easy to correct it. Open the Nox Multi Instance setting, add an emulator, and as you can see, the default is Android 4.4 but we will be using either 5.1 or 7.1. As for myself, I used Android 5, which you can see here, which already did a good work. With that out of the way, the setting for the three emulators are most likely the same. I used 4 core of CPU and 4K megabyte of memory allocation. Open GL for graphics rendering mode of both Nox and Bluestacks, while there is no setting to change that one in Momo. And for the display size, I used a customized setting of 2560 by 1080 for both Nox and Momo, while for Bluestacks, for some reason, I cannot customize it in the same resolution, so I used the highest one given, which is for me a real disappointment since this limitation in Bluestacks kinda wastes my screen state, so that's a minus point for this simulator. For the phone model, I used the default one for Nox, while changed it to Google Pixel for both Bluestacks and Momo. Now, if you are new in using emulators, you should enable virtualization in your PC's BIOS to greatly improve performance in any kind of emulators. I won't cover it here in this video, but there are lots of other tutorials here in YouTube regarding this topic. Because of the customized setting on screen resolution and DPI on Nox and Momo, it has quite a better graphics quality compared to Bluestacks, which I am only using the stock setting. This difference may not be noticeable on smaller screen, but once you enlarge it, then you can start to see more grainy texture in Bluestacks, especially in the game's environment. But with effects flying all over the screen during actual gameplay, you may not really even notice the difference most of the time. It's just for people like me, who is very particular in quality, then we will always go with Nox or Momo. But aside from that, all emulators has good performance, with pretty consistent 60fps gameplay. Moving on to computer resources, Bluestacks consume at least 24 to 27 percent CPU and 60 to 82 MB of memory. Momo gets around 30 to 35 percent of CPU usage with 406 to 408 MB memory. Even lowering the resolution and DPI to get the same to Bluestacks level, still it has higher CPU and memory consumption. Nox Up Player consumes the highest with 34 to 36 percent. CPU usage and around 670 MB of memory, reducing the resolution and DPI till Net's highest PC resources among the three emulators. So to sum it up, for graphics and performance, you can never go wrong with either Nox Up Player or Momo. And for PC resources needed, the best by far is Bluestacks, which I highly recommend to PC with lower specs, then followed by Momo, and lastly is Nox. So I hope I was able to help you decide which emulator should you be using.
If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for future videos on new games and latest tech. Peace out!